Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon Tarot. This is your reading for May 2021. I'm doing a tarot spread called Soul Compass Tarot Spread. It involves four cards. It's a short reading. Where are you on your soul's journey at the moment is the first card. The second card is the most important lesson for you on this journey. The third card is how are you being asked to be of service at this time. The fourth card is what is your anchor card that is serving as your wise teacher for you on this journey. And at the end of the reading, I will draw an oracle card to give us one little extra message. So let's put your cards out. Okay, Cancer, I've already shuffled, cleansed and blessed my cards, but we'll shuffle a little bit more. Where are you on your soul's journey at the moment? What is the most important lesson for you on this journey, Cancer? How are you being asked to be of service at this time? What is the anchor card that is serving as your wise teacher for you on this journey? So let's go ahead and turn the first card over, Cancer. Where are you on your soul's journey at this time? Three of Swords in reverse. I do feel like in the month of May, you're healing something that has caused you pain in the past. So perhaps you're going through a situation where you're finding closure and learning how to heal from something that was very painful for you. The most important lesson for you on this journey is the five of wands. So learn how not to fight the process. Excuse me. If you're going through a, a process of healing in the month of May, um, you may be wrestling with your thoughts or with um, your emotions even. You may be wrestling with the desire to um, close your mind to certain um beliefs or certain remembrances of the past the importance is to let it flow and um let let yourself struggle if you need to struggle it's part of the healing process how are you being asked to be of service at this time we have the six of cups in reverse so i do feel like it's about giving to yourself giving yourself the compassion the patience to grow giving yourself the um the love that you need the the um generous generosity that you need to grow with the six of cups in reverse um it is about also tapping into the energy of the past tapping into the energy of um how you've been able to be successful in past situations and how you've been able to uh, give to yourself the love that you need to not only um, listen to yourself, but also how you listen to others. I do feel like Cancer, you're, you're a good listener. And I do feel like this is what you're being asked to do is to listen to yourself with the Six of Cups in reverse. Listen to what your body is telling you. Um, don't be afraid to give back to yourself and to really tap into the past um, where the past situations where you've been able to be successful and where you've been able to find closure in things that were difficult for you. The last card we have is the anchor card that is serving as your wise teacher for you on this journey. And we have the six of swords in reverse. And so I do feel like the six of swords is your anchor card because it's allowing you to um, move into calmer waters allowing you to move from a situation that was very harmful for you into a safer situation. So it's really about movement. It's about, um, you know, moving um, on your soul's journey from a place where your soul was in uh, danger, so to speak, where your soul was in a place of jeopardy to a place where your soul is feeling more at peace and more at ease and allowing your mind to move with that soul's journey into a place of peace and a place of tranquility. Um, yeah, I don't see pentacles in this reading, so I don't feel like um, this month of May for you has anything to do with money. I do feel like, you know, from, from the three of swords in reverse, where you are on your soul's journey at the moment, 
to your anchor card serving as your wise teacher on this journey with the six of swords in reverse. I do feel like there's a lot of mental work that is taking place for you in the month of May and you're being gentle with yourself emotion wise, just like you would be for other people. And you're allowing your passions to, to war with each other. You're allowing yourself to feel one way one day and another way another day. Um, you don't always have to be consistent with how you feel. And I do see that with the five of wands with the most important lesson on your journey is that it's not always about um, consistency in your passions. You're allowed to change your mind. You're allowed to decide that you want to do something on one day and decide that you want to do something a different thing another day. I do feel like that's what I see for the month of May for you, Cancer. Let's draw an oracle card to bring it all together. Let me know if this resonates with you down below or if it's helpful. Sometimes I feel like it's important to let the month of May go by and see how the reading resonated with you. I do feel like healing is a big uh, theme for you in the month of May though. So if you feel like the month of May is chalking up to be about healing, I do feel like that's the case. Okay. Apprendre à accepter les démonstrations d'amour de nos proches, des gens et de l'univers, c'est apprendre à lâcher prise et à laisser agir notre âme. So it's a French card. It says, learning to accept the demonstrations of love from our loved ones, from people and from the universe, is learning to let go of your hold on your soul and letting it fly or soar. So I do feel like um, this card is saying like, learning how to accept love from the people around you and from the universe is learning how to let go of your hold on life and allowing your soul to soar. So I do feel like, again, that's about healing for you. So I hope this was a helpful reading for you, Cancer. If it was, let me know down below or give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye, happy May.